Live from New York, it's theCUBE. Covering Inforum 2016, brought to you by Infor. Now, here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and George Gilbert. Welcome back to New York City, everybody. This is theCUBE, and we're here live at Javits Center. Jim o Olerton is here, he's the IT Director of the Elsinore Valley Municipal Water District from California. Mm -hmm. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks Thank for you. coming on. Thank you. So how do you like New York in July? Love New York. Yeah. Any time of the year. Any time of the year, it's the one city you can come to and yeah. good, bad, hot, it doesn't matter. Hot, cold. It's just good to be here. Yep, it's always good to be here. So um, tell us about your role um, at the Municipal Water District and what you guys do, what your mission is, it's so nonprofit. We, right, yeah, we are a public utility governed by a five member publicly elected board. We provide water and wastewater services to, to uh, consumers, to a, a population of about 170,000 folks. And how big is the organization? We're 170 employees. Okay. On average, yeah. So we have a mid mid-sized organization. Yeah, we're a mid-sized public utility. So what's happening with your, your you run IT, what's happening yeah. with your IT? What's it, paint a picture for us. <laughs> so we're, we're transitioning to many cloud solutions and the, the current one is we're migrating our on-premise Infor Lawson system to the Infor cloud suite financials and supply, supply management procurement. So we're, we're an early adopter, working with the early adopter team at Infor migrating to the, to the, to the new cloud-based products. So, I mean, it's kind of a dumb question, but I'm going to ask anyway, why? And like, what, but actually, take us through the business case, okay. or was there a business case? I mean, it yeah, had to be, right? Yeah, there was a business case. Nonprofit. Yeah, we, we have, so. we have some internal, internal design changes on our, on our general ledger design, and we really couldn't accomplish that with, with the current solution that we have with the Lawson, Infor Lawson system. Part of the Cloud Suite Financials product is this ability to leverage what they call user-defined dimensions in your general ledger code block, which is a big deal for us Lawson customers. And so we had an organizational goal to redesign our GL, which, which helped, was aligned with our goal of participating in the early adopter program within for further Cloud Suite Financials, because we could, we could do, do what we wanted to do with the new system and Infor welcomed us, welcomed, welcomed us as an early adopter because of our organizational goal of just not my, doing a straight migration of our setup. Instead, we're taking advantage of the great capabilities in the new, the new ERP system. So the big part of the, the, the business case was related to that innovation mm -hmm. and the value that it drives for the organization. Yeah. How, how do you quantify that? Is it cost saved? Obviously, uh, it's going it's to be cost savings, staff, labor, primarily in labor, uh, overtime, frustration, end user frustration, side, side systems, shadow systems, we'll be able to accomplish all of our reporting needs, all our different reporting requirements, being a public agency out of the box. So That's how we envision it. So we've always known that, that IT is too labor intensive. Mm -hmm. But you know, labor means jobs, and so when, when people say, oh, business case involved IT labor mm -hmm. savings, people get scared. Yeah, they do, um, they do. However, since the mobile, cloud, social revolution, people I think are realizing, well maybe there's other things I could do with that labor. Mm -hmm. I could shift that value yep. up the stack, to use that overused euphemism. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing? Yep, yeah, yeah. No, there, there's no staff affected by our cloud strategy at the, at the, at the utility. We're, staff is going to focus on automation and innovation with the tools that we have in our core business and leave, leave the server administration and patching and all that stuff to the cloud ops team within for. So we're really embracing, it makes sense, it really makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, What are those higher level tasks and do they um, require more uh, close collaboration with the business units, mm -hmm. um, sort of the ultimate end consumers of this, or is there even a chance to put up uh, solutions for the outside consumer, mm -hmm. the sort of citizen consumer? Yeah, I mean, all, of, all the systems from Infor we use are primarily for our staff. So there's, we, we don't have any public facing systems that, okay. that, that are delivered by Infor, but we will, I mean, we will focus staff resources in IT on, instead of maintaining the system, but 
but utilizing it and extending it, innovating it, and automating additional processes for our organization. Are and hopefully there, simplifying people's jobs ultimately. Are there, um, if, if you're out of the business of sort of making the trains run on time, can you do things, or is, is it a priority to now make um, data from the operational systems more consumable? Yep, yep, yeah, with the, with the Cloud Suite Financials, the, the whole system really has a consumer type experience that somebody, it would be familiar to somebody who has used a mobile app, and they're, they really shrink wrapped, I still a term, the BI delivery with their, their data cubes and their dimensions, so, Traditionally, you would have a real hardcore report writer, and we really don't need that functionality anymore because Enforce is delivering to the finish line probably 90% of what we're going to need from a reporting standpoint. Oh, so you don't have to go through this sort of chasm of right. the app ends here, and yeah. some business analysts and data engineers have to go in here yep. to create visualizations. Yep, yep, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so since we're taking advantage of all the new functionality, we're going to have deliver dashboards that our finance and procurement staff can use out of the box. Instead of spending hundreds of hundreds of hours designing dashboards, writing reports, and those there's a lot of labor involved in those things. So, so really if I asked you why in for, obviously you're Lawson yeah. you know, customers, yeah, so that's why. We've invested quite a bit of money right. in Lawson. And your processes are you know, sort of tied to that. But what's your commentary on, on in for? Certainly two years ago, I don't know if you were at New Orleans. Mm -hmm. We yes. were there, we heard you know, the story. Mm -hmm. Interesting that they don't have a conference every year like most, mm -hmm. but so two years, now you're starting to see all the things they talked about two years ago hit. Yeah. Uh, and of course, a lot of loss in customers yeah. at that event, this event. And at the time, the sentiment was, well, we're kind of moving slowly, uh, we're seeing. So what's your, what's the report card on how Infor has done in the last couple uh, they, of years? They've done it. Uh, they they pulled it off, especially on the global ledger and the, on the and the procurement suite. It's it's really a next generation ERP system for a Lawson Lawson customer. Lawson's been around forever, and and they're very, they're very uh, loyal. I've seen, but it really is. I mean, it's what I've said to our end users is that the Cloud Suite Financials is new but familiar to a Lawson user. They will see. It's a totally consumer friendly screen, but they will recognize it because they, the developers just have kept it in mind, this, I don't know, like subliminal transition to the new system, so they, they are familiar with the new stuff. And, and what makes that quasi seamless? Is it the terminology? Is it just really well thought out? It's well UX? thought out by the, by the Infor folks that, that are doing the development. They've really captured all the best parts of Lawson functionality and really roll them all into single screens with multiple tabs instead of having to jump to 20 different forms in the old mainframe style system. It's really, they really brought it all together. And then leveraging the landmark stack has infinite capabilities for customization for, for a, a, a customer. It's really quite amazing for what we've seen so far. And, 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 and we have our hands on it, so we're, we're, we're using it. I mean, it's, we have our, cloud instances and we're using them on a daily basis. And a lot of mobile use cases or not There so will much? be mobile use cases with BI, for with sure. With BI, okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's a what, separate mobile app? And yeah, the, Infor BI app, which, and, which and, connects and to the Infor, dash, Infor BI dashboards. And combined with a, like, sort of a responsive mm -hmm. view of the world? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah okay. where are we? Where are we with water sales? How's our operating budget? What's our capital projects? Lots of, lots of questions we have that we really have to dig deep in customer reports currently to answer. You know, because George and I were talking with George, we were just talking about how a lot of times it's, it's a bolt-on feel or mm -hmm. a toggle. You know, well, I can't do that here, so I'm going to switch back to the old, yeah. you know, way of doing things. And and but I really like the new look and feel, mm -hmm. but I can't do half the stuff that I want to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Yeah, it really seems like a game changer for us. For, from what we've seen so far, like I said, we're about three and a half months into the project, but it's very promising and our end users have really embraced it mm. quite a bit. You said something interesting, which was that you know, you're not a very large organization, mm. so that most of the built-in processes work pretty mm. well for you, but you also mentioned the landmark development tool, which is, makes it very easy for Lawson developers and customer developers to actually customize the system. Mm. This is kind of a long question, but um, you know, uh, in the keynote, it was um, pointed out that you don't really customize cloud-based 
systems, you only configure them. Yeah, you configure them, right. Huh. But you said something different. You said we could customize, I'm paraphrasing, to our heart's content. Yeah. Can you expand on that? Well, I, I would say it's really configuring. It's not, it's, it's no coding, it's configuring, it's using the, their tool called the Configuration Console, which they're referring to at the keynote. It's really configuring the system how we want it, but, and but it's very powerful. Give us some examples of, Gosh, of that power. Adding, adding a custom field with a drop down, I mean, real basic things that you can do, that you couldn't do in Lawson without a whole lot of, whole lot of uh, coding and stuff. You can just add, you can customize the screens, you can move stuff around, you can rename them, and it's really, really simple. And it, it doesn't do, do any overlays, it's, it's the real deal when you make the changes to the screen. And you can always roll back to them as well. So, uh, okay, so if you, for instance, if you have a business process and you need to add something, it's yeah. easy to add, easy to name it, something that will resonate. Right. Uh, and that's not considered, obviously, a custom modification, because yeah, it's not a, a functional mm -hmm. mod. Yeah, in, in right. the Lawson world, that would be a custom modification, where it's now a configuration within the landmark system which is the power of the modern tech stack that, that, they, that they use in the Cloud Suite Financials, which is common on modern tech stack type systems. And, and again, a lot of, you know, we're all familiar with this from Google or any, any Salesforce users are going through the oh, lightning yeah. you know, process now. The, it's toggling between old and new, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times new looks good, yeah. doesn't have the functionality, you know, at least it's cut out a lot of the functionality, or sometimes it has some really cool functionality mm -hmm. that's foreign to people. It sounds like Infor's done a good job of both giving new functionality mm -hmm. and accommodating. Yeah, they've the captured existing. a lot of the stuff that people are used to, that are familiar with, and they've used very similar tech terminology and naming conventions and menu designs. It's modern, but familiar. In it's new but familiar well, to the to And they the bought user. this, you know, hook and loop, they right. bought this design firm, and you think, okay, that's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty cool, and pointed it internally. Yeah. You're saying as a customer, you're seeing the results of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Very it, intuitive. It, and you're also, we talked off camera, using Mingle mm -hmm. as a collaboration. How are you using that? How does it relate to what you're doing with SharePoint? Uh, we, so we're, part of our project is the Mingle Enterprise uh, system, and we plan on using it for collaboration and you know, news feeds and collaborate what people are working on. I mean, you can, it's pretty comprehensive. You can follow what anybody's doing. I mean, it's very social. It's a, basically a social media platform for, for your internal business mm -hmm. folks that work in the system. So it's, we're definitely exploring it. Well, so. so, what kind of cool projects are you working on? Um, any cool tech uh, that we're, you're looking at? We're, uh, gosh, we're, Updating our utility billing system as well, and we're deploying smart meters to all of our customers in the next two years. Oh, or is that all? Advanced <laughs> metering, basically hourly radio reads, so we, our customers can't get noti notified of leaks and any issues at their property the, right away. We saw Infor IoT yeah. at the uh, keynotes this morning. That's, yeah. I mean, it's in that general umbrella, yeah. right? <laughs> the smart and meters. So. The utility billing, I would assume, has to roll out in conjunction with that because you're going to be measuring it far more often. Yep. And utility billing is usually a core, core, probably about the most mission critical yep. app yep. that a utility. Um, how do you see that tying back into the newly flexible, um, customizable uh, Infor mm -hmm. back end? Yeah, we already, we've already visualized our touch points between our new up, updated utility billing system and the cloud suite system, so the, basically the two touch points are the general ledger and the accounts payable for customer refunds, and we've already got that mapped out in the new system of what we're okay. going to do, and it's going to work flawlessly. And I, I feel very confident about that, but yeah, it's going to work great. How do you oh, wait, 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 you got to knock wood when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the IOT functionality, hmm. what's that going to enable customers to do that they couldn't do before, I mean, beyond just sort of fine-grained, you mm -hmm. know, pricing, mm -hmm. and and how does that flow back? That flows back. That that's also a cloud solution that we're using as well. Another cloud solution, and uh, customers will be notified of unusual water use over five hours, twenty-four hours, and, and uh, usually will identify leaks and leaks, especially big leaks, translate to big bills. So our customers definitely want to know when they have something like that because leaks aren't always visible. And uh, we, we had a customer last week that had an $18,000 water bill 
because they had a leak from a sprinkler that ran for 30 days and he was in the military and it went down a little culvert so you couldn't even see it. So if we had our AMI system in place, he would have got a notification right away saying, hey, you're, you're exceeding your monthly use in a, in a day. So, so that would really help, help our customers as well. So we're trying to do other ways to, to really support our customers with online systems, with advanced metering technologies, online bill pay, paperless bills, as well as all, all the internal business stuff we do with Infor and our other enterprise systems. So, it's a busy Great. place, lots of, lots of fun. How about Inforum, Jim? I mean, any, I mean, it's a little early in the show, yeah. but you know, but what do you think so far? Uh, I like anything it so far, you, yeah. Anything you learned or things that you hope to learn and take Yeah, back? yeah, I got several things I'm signed up for and I'm doing a presentation about our Cloud Suite project tonight and I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, just here to learn, talk and meet with folks and learn about what's going on. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, it's a really important time for especially the Lawson customers with this transition to the Cloud Suite financials. It's a big deal, so I'm happy to be a part of it and love learning about it. Excellent, uh, well we're flowing content like the water flows in <laughs> Southern California and throughout the world. Uh, Jim, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE and sharing your Thank you very much. with us. I enjoyed All it. All right, keep Thank it right you. there everybody. We'll be back to New York City right after this brief, brief word.